Greetings, welcome to the Prime Directive. I'm your host, Jeff Ako, and my co-host is always Chris. Say hi, Chris. Hello. So, you want to talk that Picard series? Oh, I think we should. You see that trailer? I did, I did. It was, it was full of so much information. <laughs> Not quite. Well, there's that uh, there's that little scene that we got first that was a bit of a leak where, uh, sort of, do you know who I am? The guy's asking him for his name. Yeah. Uh, very bright uniform on that guy, uh, looking a little more Voyager style than DS9, even though yeah. DS9 was the later one. It kind of bothers me a little bit, but I'll get over it quicker because it is resemblance of a former Star Trek series. Yes. <laughs> you know what? We got the color. I, I'm happy to see color again. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, all it takes is somebody in charge of uh, uniforms being like, you know what, I really like this old design, let's go back to that. So never really understand why they keep changing the designs. <laughs> well, I understand it from an outside point of view, you know, it, yeah. it, it's helpful to be able to just turn the TV on and be like, oh, it's this series. Yeah. You know, that's, that's nice. Um, I always thought I'd get a shot at this chair one day. Perhaps you still will. Somehow I doubt that this will be the last ship to carry the name Enterprise. But yeah, then we got into the actual trailer. So we know this is uh, dealing with the destruction of Romulus. Um, this is nailing down that the uh, explanation for the divergence of the two uh, Prime Universe and the JJ Universe is, is canon. So what we saw in Trek 09 did happen in the Prime Universe and then created the JJ verse. I would still kind of argue this in a very technical aspect. Mm -hmm. Um, like, basically JJ created his own little pocket universe to separate from into our universe, which resembled the other universe. Um, however, because uh -huh. Discovery kind of exists in that universe, thus this Picard series will exist in that universe, thus it will have that Discovery feel to it because it's from the same thing. So it's not the canon universe, um, that we're used to with all the series. Yes, it is. <laughs> we'll see. Yes, we'll see. If yeah. I honestly, if I don't get at least to communicate or a movie night with Riker, uh, I'm going to be <laughs> very disappointed. We won't go back. The Borg is everywhere. We're one of the last ships left, please. Ah, uh, man, I do, I do want those little cameos yeah. just from some of his, you know, friends and family that have seriously shaped his life. Um, but according to the cast so far, they know nothing about the series. Like, they haven't been contacted, other than Freaks' directing. Yeah. But, uh, God, if they're gonna have him on set, stick him in front of a camera, just have him say a couple things, you know, he can show up on a screen somewhere. Show just be me the Titan. Show me the Titan. I've seen so many pictures of it, but I've never got to see it <laughs> in a movie. I want it. Um, everybody's saying it's 20 years after Freaks is saying 18, and the official year that it's claiming is 2399, so it's gonna be like a big turn of the century thing. Yes, yeah, it'll be a big, uh, that's probably part of it, there's gonna be big changes, and then, you know, we're rolling over the century as well, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three years, um, for the series, or three seasons, I guess. Um, ten episodes each. Apparently it's gonna feel like a movie, over ten episodes. Yeah. Which is better character, I think. We might even get some, uh, telling of Romulus. Uh, God, once again, you know, going into Discovery, if you asked me what I thought would have been the problems with it, I would not have picked pacing. I would have assumed, like, we're not only are we digitally distributing, so we don't really have that much time slot constraints. We can be a little over, we can be a little under if we want to. Um, but that's been one of the big sticking points for Discovery for me, and, you know, I think a lot of other people is the pacing of it. And... I'm really hoping that doesn't spill over into this, because again, I, I can't think of a single goddamn reason that the pacing would be weird. Yeah, um, it's being run by the same people, so I'm just saying if like the way Discovery is run doesn't uh, appeal to you, be prepared. Don't just be like, hey, we're getting Patrick Stewart back, this is going to be awesome, because it's not going to be TNG anymore, it's going to no, be different. No, they, they've made that very, very clear, and you know, as much as I, I certainly want more TNG. That doesn't mean that what they're putting out can't be good. Yeah. Um, what's that? What's that Henry Ford quote? You know, the guy um, starts up Ford Motors, but it's like if I'd asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. <laughs> so you know, it, it can still be great, and I want it to be great. And um, this is something that, that Patrick Stewart has latched onto after seeing he w he was done with the character. So at least 
you know well as we learned at that convention um that like people just kept approaching him and being like you have impacted my life which star trek has man absolutely like, star trek has made the world better mm -hmm. <laughs> if only it could just stay on so that people can re remember that mm -hmm. <laughs> uh but he's no, also so exclusive uh executive producer so yeah i mean it's gonna so, be what he wants to yeah if arguably the guy who knows picard better than anyone else on earth is on board with this then i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt i think this could be this could be really good you're referring to jonathan frakes right sure <laughs> <laughs> no no patrick he would never do that i know <laughs> i directed that episode he remember this yeah ironic isn't it I've traveled halfway across the galaxy to find my one true love, just to lose her. But why? Why must you leave? We both know it would never work. It's my parents, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited about some of this cast. Like, a few of them, kind of background people. Um, Michelle Hurd, she was in uh, Blind Spot. She was the head of the FBI. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple people that I just never heard of. <laughs> Very few acting credits, but um, Santiago, uh, I'm not going to say his last name right, but Cabrera. Um, Cabrera? Cabrera, sure. You nailed it. Um, he was Lancelot in BBC's Merlin. Uh, he was Aramis in BBC's Musketeers. He's done a few good films. Like, this guy is a leading actor, mm -hmm. so I'm excited about that. And if you ever watched um, Penny Dreadful, um, Harry Treadaway uh, playing, like, Victor Frankenstein, he was awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, just stands out above a lot of the other people in that show, and there are some good actors in that show. Uh, he also was in uh, Rose Leslie's uh, movie from Honeymoon, mm -hmm. which was pretty cool. Sadly, spoiler alert, he dies oh. <laughs> at the bottom of a lake because he loved the girl too much. Oh. <laughs> I don't blame him. Rose Leslie. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's... There's um, a little Corey. He's a actor slash rapper slash music producer. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have a lot of credits. I'm, I'm just like picturing him rapping along Picard. I don't know why. <laughs> you don't know who this is? Oh, yeah, he's Picard's hype man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm okay with this. That's canon now. Yeah, um, there's a uh, Naradia Bega. Um, not a lot of credits, but huge stunt background. So mm -hmm. could be a lot of action in this being done by her. Mm -hmm. Maybe she just tags along with Picard, kicks everybody's ass. Because yep. he's like 78 years old now. Yeah, back in his day, you know, he could throw down. I don't think we can afford action Picard, like, physically <laughs> from the That's movies. True. We're yeah, going to get been, TNG Picard. There's been a lot of concern about Dune Buggy Picard, but maybe <laughs> the fact that uh, Patrick Stewart can't really pull this stuff off anymore will save us. Hey, what was it, like, a year or two ago, he posted that, uh, like, topless photo in those pink shorts, and he's oh, just, like, true. flexing his like, yeah. if I look that good when I'm that old, Hell, if I look that good now, <laughs> like, Jesus Picard. No. Um, Alison Pill, uh, another actress, not a lot of credits. Oh no, she's got a lot of credits. The other one is uh, Biron's, um, ten years, but not a lot of credits. Mm -hmm. So you know, at least we're gonna have a cast. That's good. Yes. Uh, director uh, Hanel Culpepper did a lot of uh, TV, a couple episodes of Discovery. She's gonna do the first two episodes of the series. Mm -hmm. Then my boy Jonathan Frakes, who's done some stuff he, done some, uh, he has he's, a bit of a background yeah. with uh, star trek a little here. bit a little bit he's uh, he's gonna do uh, episode three and four for directing mm -hmm. jonathan has been directing episodes of star trek the next generation and subsequently voyager and deep space nine since the second season so it's been uh over eight years yeah i really want to see like dina Mara show up as mm -hmm. commander to not drive because as we said yeah you know, she's got a relationship with picard yeah, that would make sense. Uh, she's An old probably friend. Picard's connection to the Romulan Empire. That would be cool. I, I, I just want to see connections in my cast. Mm -hmm. Beverly and Picard have a kid that we never found about, even though they were really old <sighs> at that point. <laughs> I mean, no, it's the there, future, there's, there's future, there's future yeah. space medical, and I was so sad when we realized the Picard line was just over. And, you know, his brother was dead, his nephew was dead. Um, that's so sad. Yeah. And they just sort of threw that in there. I into mean, generations. Technically, you could be just as sad about Kirk because, like. Oh, you know, he's got kids running around somewhere. <laughs> that's, like, movie wise, they're all dead. However, there are, like, he has a brother, Sam, or whatever, and he had a couple nephews. Yeah. And their whole plan before 09, um, <laughs> or the next series plan, was originally going to have an Alexander Kirk. Mm -hmm. Like a hundred years in the future, fighting oh, the scourge. Okay. Uh, this whole new race and stuff. That would've been cool. Mm -hmm. Throw one on Enterprise. Enterprise F. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, it, do you think we're gonna see an Enterprise and what uh, what letter do you think it would be? Um, it better be E. I'm not prepared for an F. Ooh. Um, Cause I was thinking I, I would be okay with an, with an F, like a brand new, if it's brand new, it's like 20 years later, the, you know, the uh, sovereign class has been in service for a while, but we're going to get in a shiny new thing. Um, well, I don't know how the Federation's mm -hmm. doing. If if it's like kind of advanced and there's been a lot of shit going on, maybe it's retired. And maybe Picard's just like, mm -hmm. I know a ship that still works. Mm -hmm. Why don't we go get the Enterprise E? <laughs> Why don't they get him on board an old galaxy class for some reason? And I'm willing to bet you any ship that they bring in um, is going to have slight modifications to it like Discovery did. Not for update purposes, but because it's not proper canon, so it's gonna mess with the things just enough. Mm -hmm. Just like if you notice the Voyager <laughs> uniform has the collar now, mm -hmm. and the TOS uniform had the collar now, there's no reason for the collar other than a little fashion and a little bit of a change, which they always claim is like this underlying copyright thing they have to do. Okay. I'm just telling you all the videos that I've watched keep telling me this shit. <laughs> Captain Picard? Yes. yes. Captain, McKinley Station is signaling. They want to know when we'll be docking. Tell McKinley we've been called away on a priority mission. Aye, sir. So, you kept the name? So we got a writer, Michael Trevon, who's written a couple of disco shorts. Mm -hmm. And uh, John Carter, Chris. He oh, wrote John Carter. You liked that movie. I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. It's filming in California, and mm -hmm. it's going to be on Amazon Prime, probably yeah. not for North America, whatever, we'll get it on space. We do get it on space, yeah, but that was weird they didn't go with uh, Netflix again. Um, that's because Netflix wouldn't foot the bill for uh, those disco shorts because they were very disappointed yeah. in season one. I guess, like, I guess they probably did just get outbid, but it's also kind of weird not having it all on, on one platform. Yeah. But maybe they only really care about CBS All Access where it is all on one platform. Oh, yeah. that That's your main channel. Anything else is like, here, give us money so that you can do this. Yeah, whoever's the highest bidder is going to get I'm it. I'm pretty sure, isn't it like Hulu or something that's also like showing it or Crave? Like they... Crave? Yeah, in Canada. But yeah. that's just, uh, yeah. Why did you leave Starfleet, Admiral? It's expected to stop filming on October 1st. Mm -hmm. So they claim we're going to get it late in the year. I'm going to tell you we're going to get it next year. Uh, well, they, <laughs> they've wrapped the first two episodes, I thought I'd heard. Yeah, I don't know. Special effects seem to take them longer. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see if this is uh, what Anson Mount uh, said, where he's just like, yeah, I come back, but they have to change how they shoot because it takes way too long for them to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's going to that's drag on my 78 year old Patrick Stewart. Mm -hmm. So I guess uh, you know over the next couple months we could probably review some other some other Picard things like all good things I think would be a good one. Yeah, I'd like to uh, get on a couple of Picard heavy episodes. You know, the, just the kind of stuff that informs the character, and they'll probably be um, they'll probably be dropping a lot of nuggets. Yeah, like uh, Inner Light would be a good one. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a flute somewhere. Um, anything where Picard gets older. Like, let's be <laughs> honest. There's that time travel one, or that Fruit Loop episode that I call it, where um, Picard has to meet his older self and he goes into the shuttle and he flies oh, yeah, it off and the yeah, Enterprise yeah, is destroyed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's only a few minutes older, but, but he's, he's older. older. <laughs> well, um, we'll keep you up to date if we find out anything else. Mm -hmm. um, any final thoughts on this one? I'm looking forward to it. I'm hopeful. I know that this is not going to be TNG again. And if you're expecting or wanting it to be TNG again... Um, just go watch TNG. Yeah, just modify your expectations because you're going to hate it if that's <laughs> what you, uh, you're you thinking it should be. Um, but I'm going to go into it with an open mind. And um, again, if it's a 10 episode movie, I'm expecting... We're going to start in a darker place, and there's going to be a lot of, this isn't Star Trek, this is a betrayal of the Captain Picard character. <laughs> but I think by by the end of it, if you take the whole series as one thing, I'm expecting it's going to have a good Star Trek message. I think Picard's going to find himself again at the end of this, and hopefully uh, it all works out real well. Yeah, I mean, uh, my love for Patrick Stewart is going to power me through this. Um, I'm really excited that there's some other actors in this that I like. Um, so that's already jumping ahead for me for Discovery because when Discovery started, I'm like, ah, kind of know Jason Isaac and, mm -hmm. you know, I love Doug Jones' work. I wouldn't recognize his face and I still don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, other than that, like there's, there's not been any names on there, uh, Michelle Yell, I guess. But, um, 
Yeah, this one, this one, I'm a little more excited for, and I'm mm -hmm. glad Frakes is uh, gonna set the tone in the first half there. Mm -hmm. So excited! All right. Well, as always, thanks for watching. See you.